Hello, I'm Andrew Lissian. Welcome back to Europe and Us 4 as the Elysian Empire. We managed to get Scotland last time. Pretty uh, pretty good show for us, actually, just managing to swing Scotland straight through the door and out the other side and being like, yeah, Scotland, you now belong to us. Let's start coring. Coring. Why am I doing it from that screen? Obviously, the way to core is from this screen. Everyone knows that. Um, yeah, we'll call you. And yeah, we'll call you. And we'll call you. And frankly, I think we'll call you as well. All the cores. All the cores. All of them. Uh, I don't think I need an advisor. Not yet. Not quite yet. I, I'm, I'm tempted. Certainly tempted. Uh, especially since it, cause, you know, the unlocks the first idea group. And we do get a good uh, discount on ideas. Armory. I would love an armory. I really would. I will actually go ahead and buy one in Yorkshire. I need the manpower. Sorry, it's so true. I, I need the manpower. I know I need 2.12 ducats. Yeah. 1.99. England has now seen this empire as their new rival. Hey, Commonwealth separate. I totally want them on side. They'll be so useful. Diplomacy. Uh, why will you not... Oh, you will, ally. Why will you not? I'm allied to Wales. Why should that make such a big difference? Great. And the alliance is coming next. Now, I don't know if I can vassalize you. No. Distance between borders, really? Okay. Um, but you, on the other hand, I can vassalize. There's a massive difference there. Huh. Oh, I'm hoping we can get a good vassalization going. And then maybe I can feed Cornell a couple of English provinces. That'd be a very good play for us. Right, I need to improve their relations with me. So, improve relations. Hmm, could I get a vassalization here? I could! How interesting! I'm liking this tech more and more. There we go. So basically, we uh, vassalize here. Then we push the claims on these guys. We vassalize here. And then we can take England. Wow, they've got a lot of troops. Mm, we're 10 shy. How do we get 10? Offer military access? Yes. Hey! Wait till the end of the month. There we go. One vassal. Ah, Lollard Heretics in England. Hello, England. Looking forward to taking you out. My manpower is still incredibly low. I haven't even got my uh, army up to the normal amount. I'm on zero manpower. Can't really go to war, but I'd love to. I've got a long way to go with Cornwall. Can I get to war view yet? No. I've got a truce anyway. Oop, there we go. Coring, 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 coring. Incorporate. No, I don't want to incorporate just yet. Conquer Norfolk. I guess a, uh, a mission. My manpower does need time to recover, but I don't think I want to wait that long. Take Norfolk. Yeah, I will. So we just gotta wait a little bit longer anyway. What the hell is going on over here? What did you do? Attack against Galette in the Bung Burgundarian conquest of Okay. Uh, I don't want to spare no expense because that'll just result in a little bit of uh 
inflation that I have to put down that uses admin points. And I'll put down inflation use admin points because frankly I want my admin points. Forward to glo- oh here we go. Lose 5 prestige. No, we need to get the times. So or forward to glory. We get morale alliance plus 10% until 20 years time. Yearly armor tradition. Yearly prestige. I like it. Forward to glory. To glory! Ah, England are actually having major problems now. You can see they've only got like uh, 11 guys and they've got a good amount of heretics. A lot of lollards. In defense of Scotland, why? Okay. Ah, it's displaying minus numbers. I love it. All right, let's increase the autonomy. That way they shouldn't want to revolt. Handle them. I think I do need one stability. Handle them. And I will need a little bit harsh treatment them. And I'm not going to spend that much Diplo power to convert uh, a province's culture. God, no. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I do need to get at least 11 guys, especially considering England's got, you know, kind of a lot of power. They've got manpower to back that up with. Not much, probably, but now up to 12. I will have allies. I will have allies in this, but... Also, waiting the, the aggressive expansion to, you know, tick off a little bit, at least. Burgundy is requesting you come to the aid of the Bulgarian reconquest of Galera against Galera, Austria, Denmark, Holstein, Sweden, Norway, Trier, the Palatinate, Brandenburg, Baden, Switzerland. This is where they started. Galera is part of the Empire and Austria will protect them. Uh... Okay. Just don't actually get me into the war. Because I will kill you. Okay, so it looks like the Eleven are trying to re-siege London, which means they're going to be taking a bit of attrition anyway. Oh god, no, don't don't actually send ships over here. And yeah, they're actually blocking all my ships in. Damn it, Burgundy. Why did you have to do that? I mean, I know I really want you as an ally, but really, did you have to do that? I'm kind of busy, I want to take on England. Sure, not at war. Now that so like cutting off all my supply lines, stop it. It's just not not kosher. It's not kosher. Stop it. Eleven there, two there. Where are you, money? Oh, that's because they've got all their ships around me. I wish they'd stop that. That's annoying. Now I'm making oh, I'm making a tiny bit of money. Right, well I can afford to get another one unit. Not enough manpower. Oh, from wall of manpower soon. Just one more month. There we go. Ashen accepted peace. Good for you, Ashen. Once we get this unit cavalry, I think we're good to go. Because it'll mean that our allies will be dragged in. Well, our vassals and stuff. Oh, the doctrine of particular judgment. That sounds interesting. When we die, God judges immediately and decides the soul's fate until it awaits the uh, judgment. A monk has started doctrine of the virgin on the edge of heresy when he claims that there is no purgatory in saying prayers of the dead would not assist their passage to heaven. These things threaten the very unity of our church. This is because the church were like, yeah, pay us for quick access to heaven. It's like pre-orders, effectively. Uh, early access, sorry. Uh, yeah, early access to heaven, um, you know, if you pay. Gain two up hopeful influence, but get reform desire. Lose minus one percent reform desire, but gain five unrest in Lincoln. He's probably a heretic, and I'll gain the reform desire. Because, you know, reform desire is pretty nice. Mainly because I want to go to Protestantism. Like, the Catholic Church has changed. It is actually fairly okay now, right? It, it's not bad.
Where am I on this list? I'm not even on this list. Aww. For shame. Claim Holy War. Huh. I have nowhere near enough favorable influence camera to you know even think about that. But eventually, eventually. Burgundy accepted peace with the former. Oh, it yeah, says so Switzerland is out, not Burgundy. Burgundy's still fighting. I don't know if they can win this. I mean, Burgundy's big, but this could be the shouting of Burgundy very early, which is annoying because you know I kind of want them to oppose France. Because France and Sticks are now allies. God damn it. Ah, uh, it looks like England is suffering. I'm worried about the lot of heretics, though. There are 22 of them there and 8 there, and if they actually turn on me, I'm screwed. Oi! Stop fabricating a claim on the Highlands, you jerk. Come on. Someone, someone come up with a way to attack these guys. I could always come up with a claim against you. Fabricate a claim? Yeah, go on then. Not that I can really get over there currently because of all the number of people in the area, but, you know, a claim is a claim. Ah, oh, yeah, we want to uh, vassalize either Cornwall or them, but I can't while I'm at war. So it doesn't really matter in the whole grand scheme of things. A new legal heir of a strong claim appears. Cornwall. 433. So are we saying they've got my dynasty? Probably. Come Burgundy, peace out already, you're losing. How much do we get up to? If I send them a gift, that'll be enough. Or I could give them offer military access. And then I've just got to get another five. I could proclaim a guarantee. There we go. And then offer fertilization. And Wales are still like, nah, mate, we're good. Well, you're awfully a moron. Great. A 16 enemy. Wow, okay. England are coming back. I don't know how I can take six, 18 guys on now. We'll grab uh, a first idea group. Questions, what do we get? I'm a fan of early humanism, but I mean, you know, there are a number of other good things. Quality is pretty good. I mean, things like offensive, by the way. Offensive isn't as good as it used to be. Look at that. Recover army morale speed 2.5. You no longer get anything awesome at the end. Like, you know, 5% discipline is fine. But it's not what it used to be. It's not quite as good as it used to be. I like quality, right? I do like quality. I'm a massive fan of quality. Exploration is good, but maybe not this early. Um... I'm honestly thinking it's a quality go. I think we should play for quality. Yeah, I like quality. Infantry combat ability plus 10%. And we're almost up to our first uh, idea, which is 15% uh, cheaper. Well, I can't really use that until Burgundy bloody give up. On Burgundy, give up, give up already, Burgundy. You like you're almost completely dominated. Seriously, give it a rest. I'm having the most clergy lose ten people influence, gain prestige, or lose twenty five prestige. Ow. Um. I'll gain the influence and lose the prestige. We'll eventually we'll save something nice. 
I actually haven't played as Catholic since the new version was uh, implemented for that. Blockade. The people of Aberdeen rely heavily on the port to supply the city with what it needs, but the blockade against Aberdeen will be cut off by many luxuries and some goods they claim are necessary to run the city. Like what? People can hardly make do with fish alone and are turning to the king to find a solution. How do they get fish without... Surely the blockade would hurt. Lose 25 admin or local unrest. No, 25 admin. I don't like local unrest. Not while Scotland wants to maybe be independent again. No. No, no, no. The King of Burgundy dies. The country into internal turmoil and left it vulnerable to invention from powerful neighbours. Uh, so basically, Burgundy's died incredibly quickly here. Oh, well. Austria, can we be allies? Can we get a royal marriage? No. Um, we're only a tiny bit off actually getting an alliance, so let's go for the alliance. But bloody hell. Sticks to minion. I think we have to. And I don't mind going for Provence as well. We're getting lights in with Austria. Good, Austria. Good. Can we get a royal marriage as well? There we go. Hello, Austria. How are you doing? On our side as always. France is looking a bit, you know, a bit too strong. Don't you think we should do something about that? Yes, you do. Oh, I like that thinking. Oh, I do like that thinking indeed. All right. Now, one thing I do want to check is... Strength of the English Navy. Eight heavies. That's not... I mean, no, we can't field eight heavies, but along with maybe Austria, it's possible. Now, England does have 18 troops. So we can't hope to match 18 troops. I know. We've only got 12. Going to 18 would bankrupt us, and we're certainly not making very much money at the moment. But there are a lot of Lollard heretics there. I'm going to hope that they get involved in the fight. And as soon as they do, I'm going for Norfolk. I could actually go for a fight against uh, Leinster right now. It's very tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Declare war. England will be invited in. Oh, because they're subject to England. Oh, wow. Okay. Austria doesn't want to get involved because they've been fighting too much recently. Yeah, I've got to wait until uh, Austria are available. Either that or I can take these guys by myself. Come on, Lola Teleritics. Go and stamp on them. Get involved in the fight and I'll instantly go. Come on. Castile's now pub controller. Good for Castile. Come on. You're right next to them. You've just taken Essex. You know you want to go. You know, you probably lose, but it will allow me to join in. Burgundy's disappeared already, by the way. This is a very strange start. Kind of different from what I was imagining. Now we've got France not really opposed as much as, you know, I was hoping because Styx is allied to them. You... <sighs> anyway. Come on. There's not much else I can do, by the way, right now. Come on. If anything, the English force is just going to grow if you stay there. Why are you in Norfolk now? You should have attacked them. Attack them! Come on! This is just going to play like they're going to run after each other for pretty much ever. I'm hoping that it will trigger War of the Roses, but... didn't trigger it during the Hundred Years' War. Unlike it's triggered now. I think they've got to have uh, massive war exhaustion for that. Gain prestige, lose manpower. Um... No, I'll spend ducats. 
god, no, I'm not using my manpower. <laughs> You're crazy. Local trade power. Yes, I would love some local trade power. Let's get that going. So a quick look at our um, techs, by the way. Oh, we can unlock the next tech. Next tech will allow us to get um, a new infantry. No, it won't. Oh, yeah, no, it will. Sorry, it will. It will allow us to get either men at arms or longbowmen or galloglay. Galloglay? Galloglay. Galloglay, 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 galloglay. Um, up to 19. Do we go for this or do we go for the tech? I mean, this would allow us to get cheaper ideas, but it doesn't matter because we need the ideas to get the cheaper ideas, so we can get any point. I'm going to go for the tech. Tech is better. I'm guessing you're at four. Yeah. Who's at five? Who am I... Who am I bordering who's at five? Do I even need to ask? Sticks? France? Sticks and France. Wow, okay. You tough cookies. I was going to say cookies. You can't prove I wasn't. Oh. Are they going for... No, they're not. I thought they were going for a fight from right. If they were, I was like, you know, I could, I could take them. I could take them. No. Certainly can't take it at 22. True center between citizens and the Elysian Empire. We, uh, years of peace are behind us. We can now declare... Ooh, that's another pop-up they've added. Tells you what your truce is over. That's nice. I like that. Not that I really want to declare war on them. We're good. You like us. Recruiting crisis. Lose prestige or lose manpower? Uh, I'll lose the prestige. I'm not losing my manpower. Right. Can I attack anyone? Wait, who are you a vassal of? In God damn it, England. I can't get you. I don't want to get anything involved with Brittany, not with France and the Styx Dominion right next door. My only hope is that the Styx will declare on England. It's going to take a while because, you know, they've got to get rid of the uh, the truce from the last war. That'll drag France in and England. Um, that'll cause England to take a lot of, you know, damage and hurt and hopefully, you know, maybe a couple more revolts and then I can get involved. But until then, I can't really do anything. I, there is nothing I can do over here right now. And I think that's where we're going to call it for this episode. Um, not much action this episode, really, just sort of waiting for the next war to really happen. Gonna hopefully get something going soon, but for now, I've been Eric If you enjoyed today's episode, remember to like and also subscribe. Please consider subscribing, especially early in the series. The Elysian Empire does need you to do, uh, you know, all the support you can. Until next time, stay shiny. <laughs>